I recently did a video on the Mount Rushmore of bass fishing cheaters and someone commented that maybe I should take away the anglers names and just look at what they've done wrong and it really was a fantastic comment. If you like this kind of content, click that like, subscribe, and welcome to the team. Let me say thank you to all the new subscribers, all the new members, all the people who are interactive on the channel, who comment. I really, 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 really appreciate it. It makes getting up fun, doing videos, and even though some of these aren't as big as other videos, you know what? I really do appreciate and can't say thank you enough, so thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click that button. It's free, and all you gotta do is click it and you're part of the team and family, so thank you. And what makes the worst cheaters? Let's take away their names and just talk about six or seven things, actually six, because I'm looking at my notes, six things that we've seen over the past from bass fishing anglers who end up getting caught cheating. Some get banned, some just have the book thrown at them, some of them go to court, blah, blah, blah. But let's look at six of the main things that happen when an angler cheats. And then let's put them in order on what we think is the worst. So here's what I want you to do. After you're done, put these, rank these in order from worst to first. I'm gonna do them on the whole realm. I'm not putting any in any specific order. And then just comment below and tell me your results. So is the worst thing a cheater can do in professional bass fishing transporting a fish from one place to the other. This would mean an angler caught the fish in one area, put them in his live well, hit them, did whatever he could, and then took those fish and then th pretended like he caught them at another body of water and then weighed in those fish. Is that the worst a professional cheater could do in bass fishing? Number two is putting fish in some sort of cage that you can catch them out of. In this instance, we're not talking about anyone in specific, but you cage the fish during a certain period and they end up getting very hungry. Then you throw a jig in there and you re-catch those fish. It seems like you're still catching these with a rod and a lure, but you're pulling them out of a water from a cage that might have some sort of contraption which allows them to come back out with force, but if the bass tried to do it, they couldn't get back out in freedom. My third one, is if you caught fish, put them on a stringer, tied them up, did whatever you had to do, and then tied them to a piling or in something that was immovable. There's been a lot of this lately. We've seen it down here at the south. We've seen it up north. It's something that has happened for a long time. It's even happened in redfish tournaments. But tying a fish to a piling and then coming back when the tournament's happening and just retrieving them and putting them in your boat. That's number three. But is that the worst tournament cheater thing an angler can do? Number four is putting weights in fish. Arguably some of the most or biggest controversy that happened over the last few years was the walleye anglers who put weights in fish. They also put pieces of walleye in fish too. Those anglers broke the internet. They broke the hearts of many pro anglers and hearts of fans. And it was one of, if not the biggest story that happened just a couple years ago. I said it, I've said this many times. I've never been asked more about one topic while I'm on a pool deck watching my son swim. It was nonstop. People that knew that I loved bass fishing or that knew how much I fish and also had the radio show at the time and then did the YouTube channel, it was it was nonstop for me. And when I say nonstop, it probably was several people every day for probably a month asking me, what do I think or what are my comments on it? But is putting weights and fish the worst thing you do if you're a bass fishing cheater? Number five is snagging fish outside the lip. Now this happens a lot more than people probably know. And anglers now have gotten a little more savvy on how to hide this thing or this way of catching fish. They might see that fish, accidentally snag it, and then turn their back to the camera and unhook it so that you don't see where that fit, that hook is actually in that fish's face. This is, this is nonstop. I think you can say this throughout the, the whole 
series of anglers that are out there. All the pros are out there. This happens a lot more than we know. And it isn't called out and it isn't enforced as much as I think it should be too. It's happened years and years ago in tournaments. And now there are some people that will say, yes, I snagged it, release it, and put it back. But there's a lot of other anglers that won't do that same thing. But is snagging a fish the worst thing a cheater can do? And last but not least, it's altering your weighing or your measuring device. When these, so there's some tournaments where inches of fish matter and they'll take out or s shorten the distance between each inch so that the fish look bigger or they measure bigger. And it's something that's happened quite a few times. But that, is that the worst thing a cheater can do in professional bass fishing? So what I want you to do now is comment below one through six and put them in the order of uh, the least to the worst, the worst thing that you can do. Put that in the comments and tell me what you think. Again, thank you to the angler. I'll put his thing right here and say thank you again, but thank you for the great topic. I really do appreciate it. it. This is a good one. This got me thinking and I really do like that. Anyway, comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a good fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers, thank you, and tight lines.